My name is Tim Sutinen from privacyproshop.com. This morning I came across an interesting news article about U.S. Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon sending a letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland about Apple and Google push notification surveillance by foreign governments. Senator Wyden doesn't want the surveillance to stop, but wants to allow Google and Apple to notify their customers whose notification records were revealed to foreign governments. Currently, the U.S. federal government prevents Google or Apple from telling that to the users or discussing about it at all. This letter is eye-opening, and if this isn't the best sales letter for using a de-Googled privacy phone like Graphene OS, I don't know what is. This is a well-written letter and has the technology aspects explained quite nicely as to how this part of the surveillance happens. This video is brought to you by Sutinen Consulting, my IT service company. If you have a business that needs a privacy respecting, independent security vulnerability assessment, or an ethical hacking test, which is also called a pen test, of your IT infrastructure, please give me a call. We will do a comprehensive vulnerability scan of your IT systems, provide a report of the findings, and even help your IT guys fix the problems discovered. We help your IT guys do the best job possible so you are protected from cyber criminals. Sutinen Consulting serves customers all around the United States. Contact information is in the description below. This is how the letter goes. Dear Attorney General Garland, I write to urge the Department of Justice to permit Apple and Google to inform their customers and the general public about demands for smartphone app notification records. In the spring of 2022, my office received a tip that government agencies in foreign countries were demanding smartphone push notification records from Google and Apple. My staff have been investigating this tip for the past year, which included contacting Apple and Google. In response to that query, the companies told my staff that information about this practice is restricted from public release by the government. Wow, this must be one of those Patriot Act requirements where all the surveillance is hidden from the ordinary people. Mr. Wyden, how about if you actually work to abolish the Patriot Act? But this is a good start anyway. Push notifications are the instant alerts delivered to smartphone users by apps, such as a notification about a new text message or a news update. They aren't sent directly from the app provider to user smartphones. Instead, they pass through a kind of a digital post office run by the phone's operating system provider. For iPhones, this service is provided by Apple's push notification service. For Android phones, it's Google's Firebase cloud messaging. These services ensure timely and efficient delivery of notifications, but this also means that Apple and Google serve as intermediaries in the transmission process. Good explanation. And if you have an Apple or Google phone, you can't turn off those push notifications. But let's be clear, push notifications are primarily an efficiency and convenience thing. You don't necessarily need them as you can have those apps that get notifications be open all the time in the background and receive notifications that way. Yes, that eats more battery, but it works without Apple or Google. That's how Signal, Telegram, Session, and email notifications work on my de-Googled Graphene OS phone. I get notifications, but they don't go through Apple's or Google's push notification system. As with all of the other information these companies store for or about their users, because Apple and Google deliver push notification data, they can be secretly compelled by governments to hand over this information. Importantly, App developers don't have many options. If they want their apps to reliably deliver push notifications on these platforms, they must use the service provided by Apple or Google, respectively. Consequently, Apple and Google are in a unique position to facilitate government surveillance of how users are using particular apps. The data these two companies receive includes metadata, detailing which app received a notification and when, as well as the phone and associated Apple or Google account to which that notification was intended to be delivered. In certain instances, 
they also might receive unencrypted content, which could range from backend directives for the app to the actual text displayed to a user in an app notification. Good job. That's a near perfect sales pitch for Graphene OS. Apple and Google are compelled to collaborate with various governments and hand over metadata to them about you willy nilly. If you care about your privacy, you should never use an iPhone or Google Android phone. Don't wait any longer. I made a video guide to buying a Graphene OS phone. Check it out somewhere up here. Apple and Google should be permitted to be transparent about the legal demands they receive, particularly from foreign governments, just as the companies regularly notify users about other types of government demands for data. These companies should be permitted to generally reveal whether they have been compelled to facilitate this surveillance practice to publish aggregate statistics about the number of demands they receive, and unless temporarily gagged by a court, to notify specific customers about demands for their data. I would ask that the Department of Justice repeal or modify any policies that impede this transparency. Thank you for your attention to this pressing matter. If you have any questions or require clarification, please contact Chris Sogoyan in my office. Sincerely, Ron Wyden, United States Senator. Yes, I agree. You should know if you have been targeted by the government thugs for surveillance. But why put yourself there in the first place? Get out of the surveillance system and get yourself a de-googled Graphene OS phone as the immediate first step. That's all she wrote. If you're interested in digital privacy, Graphene OS, Session Messenger, LokiNet, cryptocurrencies, and other open source software, please check out some of the other videos on this channel. And as always, have a happy day.